It's time now for the Eric Kendrick Show here on your home of the Cowboys. It's brought to you by Keurig and Dr. Pepper. And uh, Eric Kendrick's joining us now here in the G-Bag Nation. Good afternoon, sir. How the heck are you? What's up? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, you tell us it's Halloween. How big of a deal is uh, is that in the Kendrick's household today? Um, I think we're we, we're gonna we're gonna meet up with uh, some family just for a little bit of uh, Halloween festivities. I'm 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 finding out right now from my wife texting me, but uh, yeah, it should be fun. <laughs> you know, I feel like uh, anytime you can get the kids together a little bit, you know. Now are the are the oh go ahead no go ahead. I was just going to follow up about the kids there. They've been fired up about this deal. Do they know what to expect? My son doesn't know at all. You know, he's a he's a he's a year and a half old. Um, <laughs> we got a costume for him that we picked out, so um, he's going to be either taked off that it's going to be too, you know, he's not going to want to wear it, or he's going to be vibing. You know, so um, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Where are you on the Halloween candy? Ah, uh, you know, I feel like. Uh, I used to be big into the Halloween candy. I feel like I used to be super big into it, but um, you know now I'm just very, way more selective with what I, what I enjoy as far as candy is concerned. What was your favorite? My favorite growing up was like um, chocolate. I would say it would be like uh, the, it would be like the, the what's the one with the caramel in it and then it's like Rolos. Rolos, bro. Oh, Rolos, yeah. Yeah. Underrated. Yeah. Under, very underrated. Crazy. That's a good taste. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then obviously you have your. Uh, your Skittles, I mean, classic, but uh, I'm a Sour Patch Kids guy, but, you know, we're not really getting, you're not really getting those in the Halloween pack, though. No, no, they are a treasure when you find them. You, they're, they're amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Halloween-themed show here today, we were just talking about the scariest NFL players of all time. <laughs> do you do you have a guy in mind? Scariest NFL players of all time. Um, shoot. Linval Joseph has to be up in there somewhere. <laughs> nice. Um, what know. makes him so scary? I feel like it's the gentle giant type of attitude. Like, you catch him off the field, like, you're like, this is the nicest guy ever. You know, <laughs> this guy is, man, what a guy. <laughs> and then and then you flip that switch on him, and you're like, this guy is crazy. <laughs> but um, I think that that's what makes it. The football players, football players. I mean, there's that's that's across the league, I feel like. You know, there's guys who can just flip, flip the switch like that. But you've never been scared on a football field? I've never been scared on a football field. I mean, oh, yeah. No, actually, I, that's a lie. I have been scared on the football field. When I was six, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, freshman year in high school, I was a little bit nervous out there. I can't lie. I feel like that's what people – people always ask me advice like, man, my son's, you know, you know, he's not he's not really into it. He's kind of timid. Like, well, do you have any advice? For, and I'm like, what, what, how old is he? And they're like, and they're like, you know, he's he's 13 years old, and I'm like, oh wait, I was I was scared at that time too, so he has time. Can you know? grow out of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's just like one. I feel like my sophomore year, you know, th- I I started to grow into my body, I finally matured, and then things started to click for me, and all of a sudden, like, I was a football player. And since then, people have been scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> just chase people that down. <laughs> Now, if you're not doing candy, what are you snacking on, like in the film room or something? There's got to be, you got to have something next to you, right? It's the like the sunflower seeds, the pistachios. I'm a big seed guy, but um, I mean, shoot, I like potato chips. I guess I don't know. Big well, respect on that. No, I'm, I'm not. I don't do like the Doritos or anything like that because the corn. But you know, I try to. If I do any shit type of chips, it's potato chips. What about these nuts? Um, I'm not a big, I'm not a big D's nuts kind of guy, you know? <laughs> How funny was that? How much have you guys talked about D's nuts in the locker room this week? I, you've set a record, I'm sure. No, um, I don't even know what you're referring to, but, um, oh, I, I actually do know what you're referring to. Oh, actually. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? No, we actually hasn't talked about that at all, but, um, yeah, that was, man. Wait, funny. You've but, never deezed nuts to a reporter? I've never done that, but, <laughs> you know, um, man, these, you know, report, reporters get kind of bold sometimes, you know. I was going to ask you that, Eric. Do you, and I'm not, you don't have to say anything specific, but do you guys, do you get mad at reporters occasionally? Is it something that, you know, I mean, you're a pro's pro when you handle things with, I mean, you've been great with us, but do you, do you get mad and just kind of keep it to yourself? Or, you know, how, how do you handle things like that? You know, honestly, it's just when it, when it, when, we when when I get upset when they take the human aspect out of it, like mm-hmm. okay, you're you're in our you know you're in our locker room, you know, right. and it's like you know this is, you know this is something that we 
care to we 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 care about you know we right. we we work our our butts off for so it's like obviously we have a ton invested into our our body you know our, the way we feel the you know we're 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 our families you know what I mean like blood sweat and tears into this so we're invested into it and then when you when you come to us and then you you know kind of take the human aspect out of that and you just kind of treat us like we're we're either stupid or you know mm -hmm. um you know just blatantly kind of disrespect us like we you know we don't know you know what's going on that's when it kind of like you 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 can get upset you know you have a human reaction you know right. so it's like um you know just you know obviously they have you everybody has a job to do and you know I'm not I'm not sitting here saying that you know some days I'm not more irritable than others but at the same time like you know I try to treat everybody you know no matter who they are no matter you know what position of power they are in I try to treat everybody with respect you know and I hope that I get the same back do you find the the media around the Cowboys to be overly critical? And and how would you kind of break down where where the Cowboys are at right now if you were to put your media cap on? I mean, I, media is just it's just gonna be what it is. What it is, you know. I feel like there's just there's more of it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's more critical than others, but you know, obviously, I think it is. Um, but you know, I mean, this is the job we do. This is the you know, we we know what we're getting ourselves into. We gotta you know. We know what we got to do uh, this week, and um, you know if we if we don't want to you know face bad bad questions like that, we got to play better. So hey, let's do it. Does it? I mean, and this is my last question on this, Eric. Does it does it bother you though when sometimes when media members talk about a specific play, and 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 they really don't know how the play should break down? That you know that you, it turns into maybe some blame, and hey, that they don't know. Is, is that more? Uh, disappointing to you that or is it just the the like you said the human aspect side of things no i mean that that definitely gets you gets you a little bit fired up to you know twitter and things like that when it's like you're talking about a specific play and people sure. think that you know you're a, you could be at fault but you really can you know you're not gonna try to throw your teammates under the bus but right. like you know it's like you have no idea who's supposed to be blitzing who's covering who right sometimes it's just the closest person to that person so you know there's a lot of that stuff that goes on but you know that's why you 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 know you try to keep things internal and you know the guys on the team who know that's who you kind of care about you got to lean on that but you know, at the end of the day like you, like I said you know um that's the job we you know we 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 have and you know unfortunately uh you know things do get heated sometimes but you know um it's part of it Eric Hendricks with us on the fan. You were all over the field against San Francisco. I was wondering, like, what your GPS numbers were like after that, dude. I mean, you're you're, you're hauling ass to take a tight end, a halfback, those wheel routes. You were all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, um, definitely. You know, um, that's that's how I like to be. You know, at the same time, so uh, you know, anywhere I can be to help, you know, I'm I'm down for it. So, um, you know, if I need to be doing whatever, let's do it. Well, you uh, congrats. You, you surprised us last week when you were out there after talking to you on Thursday. We were like, I don't know. This seems like a bit of a close call. How close was it? Yeah, you know, um, shoot, uh, this game, this game means so much. And, you know, I feel like obviously, uh, you know, injuries come into play here and there, you know, when you when you talk about football. But, uh, you know, I feel like if if uh, if people really knew, you know, the kind of work you put in behind the scenes to just, you know, be able to be there for your teammates, you know, um, you know, it means a lot. So, you know, I'm, I was happy I could I could I can you know, get out there and, um, you know, just looking to stack on it. Is pain something that you can block out as long as you have your strength or how, how do you approach that? It's, you know, um, it just varies, you know, uh, it's something that, you know, everybody deals with, especially, you know, on the field. Um, there's, the, everybody has a different level of, you know, different tolerance, different, you know, things that affect, you know, maybe it affects your play more than others, you know, uh, you know, maybe it, 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 you can have so much pain where to where it's, you're actually hurting your team, and that's when you know you gotta reassess, and you're hurting yourself too. So, um, you know, uh, you know, everybody's different. I'm not, I'm, not, you know, I don't really know how to really answer that. You know, um, but were you, you know, in pain my, Sunday? Uh, my, you know, my dad always, my, my dad always used to tell me, you know, when I got into playing, um, he used to, all, you know, I think it was like from like sixth, seventh, eighth grade, like you know, the times where you know I, I was just explaining earlier how. I was I was a little bit nervous and timid. Um, they, my dad used to tell me as I got you know older and older. You know I got to high school senior year. I started getting offers. He used to tell me, uh, you know this game this game hurts, son. So yeah. you know, um, mm. are you are you sure? You know type thing. Yeah, and yeah. you know what I mean. This is the game we love though. So. 
you get to play against Atlanta this week. Kirk Cousins, a guy I assume you know pretty well. What's the book on Kirk Chains? <laughs> Kirk, that's my guy. You know, um, not this week, obviously. Um, yeah. But at the same time, uh, you know, got a lot of respect for him. You know, he's been playing great. Um, yeah, I feel like their offense, they have they have a lot of weapons. And uh, they spread the ball pretty pretty evenly. You know, they run the ball pretty well. Um, so it's going to be a good challenge, but, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, it's, it's an, it's a new week, you know, um, obviously things didn't go how we wanted to last week. That was last week. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to keep the vibes, you know, from the vibe, I'm just trying to be consistent on my approach and how I handle things. And, and, um, you know, it'll pay off. It, it, it'll pay off eventually. Now I was watching the video from 2022 with him, uh, on the airplane with his shirt off dancing. And I'm trying to find you here in this video. Did you have a good view of that that day? <laughs> yeah. I, I think I was on the other side where the, where the video was probably being taken. Um, <laughs> um, you know, like, you know, I feel like, uh, oftentimes in the league, you know, I feel like even when, you know, Kirk first got to the Minnesota, I feel like, you know, you, you kind of feel nervous about showing your actually true, your true personality. Cause you don't know how, you know, the media is going to take it and mm -hmm. this and that. Um, so I'm 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 happy to see that as we played there, you know, I, I include myself in this because I've gotten com more comfortable with the media too. But you know, as far as Kirk, you know, he has a lot of intention on him. So I like that he, you know, his personality is now coming out for everyone to see, and um, you know, you know, obviously now all the funny stuff's coming out. So you know, it, it, it makes the NFL fun. How's our boy Zimmer doing right now, man? Uh, I'm curious, has he has he had any type of explosions, any meltdowns, anything Man, just, like that? I feel like we're just we're, you know we're just locked in right now. You know, everyone's just trying to you know get the job done and um, focus. So you know that's been the priority, and that's been you know no meltdowns, no nothing like that. Just sure. just straight focus and um, you know back to work mentality. So you know we had a we had a really good practice today. Um, we've had great walkthroughs. You know, attention to detail, um, adjustments, all that stuff, and you know you know got to get it done. Tough one in San Francisco. You guys really put it together a, a heck of an effort there in the fourth quarter. Um, we'll be rooting for you once again as you take on the Falcons. Man, give them hell. We'll be pulling for you. Appreciate it.